Welcome to Mindset Matters with Rich Bruckner. I'm here talking about my experience with this book right here. It's called The Magic. It's written by Rhonda Byrne. And in case you haven't seen my other videos about this, I decided to do a giveaway on my Instagram page. I gave away five copies of this book. Um, and the reason for that is because the first time around reading this book for me, it made so many huge changes in my life and made such an impact on me that I automatically felt guided to give away copies to people at different times. There had been people in my life, for whatever reason, where I felt like they would benefit uh, from going through this process. And so I just would, you know, I, at first I like bought one extra copy and gave it to somebody who I had been thinking about. And then it happened again and suddenly I just ended up buying like five copies of the book because I kept noticing that at different times I felt like people would benefit from the book and I wanted to have them on hand to just give them to people. And I went through those five copies pretty easily and, uh, you know, there's been other times where I ended up ordering one or two more copies at a time to give out to people. Um, I don't know... Part of me was just in the moment I felt like, you know, this book had done so much for me that it would be selfish not to share it with other people. And I also felt like, I don't know, like I always wanted to make a difference in one way or another and having something that made such a difference for me and being able to give it out to other people and with the hope also that, you know, if those people benefited from the book maybe they would give it to a few other people and it would cause like a chain reaction so um i don't know if that necessarily happened but the point is um i started making content again i saw this book sitting on my bookshelf and something told me that i should go through my copy and read my copy again and it gave me the idea of giving out a few copies so i gave away five copies i'm gonna stay in touch with the people that won the giveaway and you know I, I i'm just curious to see how it works in their lives and um today i'm on day seven um just to give a little synopsis on the book in case you haven't seen the little breakdown i gave you could always go back to get a more in-depth um because i did a whole video just about my experience with the book and you know what it was about kind of but just to briefly summarize it's based on gratitude and it's based on the idea of making it a practice in our lives to make it a habit of consistently being focused on gratitude. And there's 28 days worth of tasks that you can do um, by reading this book one chapter per day um, that will guide you through this experience. And each time I've gone through this process, there's been two times previous to this one. I've noticed huge blessings unfolding in my life. And, you know, the first time going through it, seeing how it worked in my life was what made me a firm believer in it and what caused me to go through it a second time and why I just felt like now it's been probably around five years since the last time I've gone through it. And I'm <laughs> in a completely different place than I was those other times. I just wanted to see how much further it could take me because I feel like, I'm in the place that I'm in right now, which is an unbelievable place, partially because of who I am as a result of going through this book, you know, and, uh, you know, I figured if I started at such a different part of my life and, you know, I don't want to say a lower part of my life, but on paper, you know, financially and in a lot of other ways, that's what it was. Um, I feel like if I was able to get springboarded from that level to the next level and then from the level I was at the second time to where I am now, you know, I just wanted to see like what could happen going through it again. So, and you know, just because financially I'm doing a lot better doesn't mean that mentally and spiritually I am. So, you know, those things are always cyclical and, you know, life is a difficult thing to balance. So you may find that at different times of your life that you could be doing better financially but you could be doing worse physically, you could be doing worse mentally, spiritually, and in all those other ways. And same thing vice versa. You know, you could find yourself that you're doing a lot worse financially, but you're doing better physically, you're doing better mentally, you're doing better spiritually. It is like a little bit of a balancing act. You know, I, I could say that 
I could have been living in more gratitude up until picking up this book again seven days ago. Being that I am on day seven today, it's the end of the first week, I wanted to give a little breakdown about where I'm at. I don't want to give away what each of the tasks were because I want to make that... So I didn't want to ruin the uh, surprise, I guess you could say, or the process. I just feel like if I had gone into it and already knowing exactly what each step was, I might... I don't know if I would have been less likely to do it or if the effect would have been different on me. But I feel like by waking up every day and seeing like what the new task is going to be, like I remember these now that I'm doing them, but I didn't remember before I started reading like what order each one was in. And like, so like every day I read it, I'm like, oh, I do kind of remember doing this, but it, it's definitely hitting different this time. I feel like I feel like it's like a nostalgic thing, but at the same time, I'm still getting the same results out of it. Like, I am seeing how I haven't been focused on being grateful and how I haven't been very grateful in a lot of different ways. I still think I'm a lot more grateful than I was before I started this whole process in general, but like, but, but th there's a whole, there's levels to gratitude. Like, there's some people that are a little bit grateful, but they still are complaining sometimes and, you know, they're, they're being ungrateful about other things in different areas. Then there's people you see that are like almost always grateful and almost always have a smile on their face. So like, you know, I, I do think that in my life in general, I'm definitely not in the lowest place as far as gratitude that I've ever been, but I'm definitely not in the highest either. And that's what I'm starting to see by, by doing this every day again. And it's such a good feeling to see myself when I am acting ungrateful about something because by doing this every day, I actually feel like I'm, I'll be in the middle of an ungrateful thought or action and I'll be like stopping myself and saying, wow, like, like this, isn't, this isn't me, this isn't good. And changing my course of action and then actually you know, feeling better about the fact that I changed that course of action. So it is an amazing process. Um, I'm definitely happy that I'm doing it again. I look forward to seeing other people do it. And if you feel inspired to try this yourself, definitely comment and let me know. If you've gone through this book before, definitely leave a comment and let me know about it. If you feel inspired to go through this book because of something you saw in this video, leave a comment too. I, I want to hear from you guys. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in seeing more of the process, because I'm going to do another recap after weeks two, three, and four, subscribe to this page. I'm also doing other things on the same topic. You know, this, this topic of Mind Matters is going to be updated every single week. You know, this series is going to last three more weeks, but after that... I'll be discussing a lot of other things that have helped me keep in a positive mindset over the years. And, uh, you know, so if you have any interest in that, definitely subscribe, share with somebody who might be interested in it. You could see the links to my other social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and all that kind of stuff is going to be in the description. So if you want to follow me there and see other giveaways that I might be doing and other day-to-day -day stuff, you'll see like short form media on those platforms. Uh, but yeah, definitely want to hear from you and thanks for watching.